In our first video on new views in EFT, we showed you how to pay suppliers. If you haven't already, please watch that video first. In this video, we're going to look at how to accept deposits from customers. This is especially useful for customers who are charged on a recurring basis. For example, monthly rental charges or subscription billing. As shown in the first video, there are a few things that have to be set up in new views before using EFT to accept deposits. First, you need to set up EFT details for the bank account you want to use. Second, you have to create an EFT journal to track EFT deposits. Now, you're ready to set up EFT details for customers. On a table of customer accounts, click the Accounts tab and change the view to EFT Payments information. To set up a customer for EFT, position on the EFT status field and press F3 to change the status from inactive to active. The customer will need to provide you with their bank ID, transit, and account number, which are entered in the corresponding fields. You can also use the Trade Tax tab in the bottom pane to enter EFT info for an individual customer. When you're ready to create the EFT deposit transactions, mark the customer accounts in a block and issue the tools EFT deposit command. Enter the pay up to date, the deposit date, and an EFT start number. You can also choose to have separate journal entries created for each deposit transaction or create one journal entry in which the deposit transactions are itemized. Note that you'll also have to enter the name of the journal used to track EFT deposit transactions. If Confirm Edit Deposits is set to No, all deposits will be processed automatically. If this field is set to Yes, you have the option of confirming or editing each deposit before it's processed. Click Continue or press F5 to proceed. In this set of books, three customers have active EFT status. There are no outstanding amounts due for the first customer, so we click Next Account to proceed. An outstanding amount is due for the second customer, so we click Post Deposit. We will post a deposit for the third customer as well. Now that we have processed the EFT deposits, we can dismiss the prompt. The deposit transactions are posted to the EFT Deposits Journal. Let's take a look. This transaction can now be used to produce the file the bank needs to withdraw the authorized funds from the customer accounts and deposit them into our bank account. To create the EFT file, mark the transaction, or transactions if there's more than one, in a block and issue the Tools EFT Deposits command. Follow your bank's instructions for sending them the EFT file. Remember that you chose a name and location for this file when you entered the EFT settings for your bank account. To be able to pay suppliers and accept deposits from customers by EFT, make sure you're running an up-to-date version of NewViews. For more information, visit our website at newviews.com.